Hey guys, my name is Samsonite, and welcome to Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. I don't know why I'm pointing at the TV, because it says I'm currently playing The Witcher 3, and I bought Bloodstained a while ago. See, okay, here's the thing. I know what you're thinking. Sam, you haven't played any of the new Bloodstained releases! I know, I'm letting a lot of them come out. So, I'm going to go with Curse of the Moon, then we're going to play Curse of the Moon 2 that just came out a couple months ago. Might also play Ghoul Boy today, I don't know. Oh, I already saved Witcher. Sorry about that. I'm usually in the game by then. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down to touch to touch. touch. Uh, okay. Now, I know this is an 8 bit thingy. This came out before Bloodstain did. Um, but that's all I know. I haven't ever launched this before. Retro style challenge, Broham. I'm gonna go casual. You can call me a petty casual if you want, but you'd be absolutely right. There was once a man who had been given the moon's curse by demons. The moon has a curse? That man was Zangetsu. I know him! Wrapped in a garb with eyes like fire. He relentlessly pursued the demons who cursed him. As he journeyed from one pit of darkness to another, he would stop at nothing until he struck down every last demon in his path. One night he sensed the looming presence of a great demon. Who is it? Satan? He swore to eradicate all demons no matter how much of a threat they posed. I think it's Satan. Satan. Bathed in moonlight, he cried out as he drew his sword, which consumed the darkness from within his its wretched steel. Well, that's kind of cool. Is it Satan? Mm -hmm. On that night, either the demons or the moon itself uh, would feel the wrath of his blade. It might be Satan. I know he's technically not a demon. He's an angel and all that hot garbage, but like... <clears throat> I think it's Satan. In Bloodstained, it was Baal, the king of demons. And I know there's a couple things in this that contradict, so they kind of, if I remember, oh, this looks like just like Castlevania 3. Oh, this is going to be fun. Stage 1, Moonlight Temptation. Now, I know this is like a four-hour experience, I think, so, oh, this is so cool. From red. That's a train. This is really cool. This is so cool. Okay. I like 8 bit stuff. I've been, um. We just had a new guy start at work who plays all this kind of stuff. He has like every Castlevania game. And at first I thought I was gonna hate him because he took the job I wanted. But, you know, after, you know, I stopped being petty and I grew up a little bit, um, found out, I was like, oh, he likes the same stuff I like. I'm going to have a conversation with this guy. And we were talking about this in particular. This, because he's played, I, if I remember correctly, he's played both of these as well. I told him I was starting these today. Well, I was actually going to start this yesterday, but then I just didn't. And you can relax about the, the blanket. The blanket is my backdrop. Behind it is my wife doing schoolwork. Say hi! Hello? There she is. Where are you? Here. I see your hand. <laughs> it's my wife doing schoolwork. She, uh, I, I'm trying to be respectful and quiet. So I won't be like screaming like my normal self. Seems I can use some weapons with the X button, however it would require weapon points. By destroying lamps, perhaps I can find a magic potion to restore my weapon points. I also understand that different color lamps contain various sub weapons I can use. Even so, I remain devoted to the sword. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Oh, is that like the holy water equivalent? what do hearts do? Okay, that was a 
weapon point. I'm assuming hearts would probably be... Whoa, that was so cool. I must have got a whip or something. Man, Ego with the, the hidden shit in the walls, dude. I'm on a train. Yeah, I forgot to set a timer for myself. Big Oops is 8.18 in the p.m. Hey, look, it's a picture of my life. It's 8.18 in the p.m. Uh, I'm hoping to... Ow. I'm hoping to not have to cut too much out of these. Um... Uh, um, and as long as I stay silent, I've gotten permission to record today, so I might try and finish this game. There's only a couple hours, and I just got a couple hours of schoolwork, so that way I stay busy. Normally, I would just be playing The Witcher right now, but I'm like, bro, I have a YouTube channel that I have to tend to, sort of committed to that like five years ago. It's crazy, it's been five years already. Ow. What is that thing? Oh, look at that dick bag down there, he's pointing. Look, I'm smart. I've played these kinds of games before. I know what needs to be done. I'm the best in the world at what I do. Alrighty, with the classic Samsonite overconfidence. What do you want? What do you want? How do I talk to you? It's just telling me where the door is, but there's already arrows to tell me where the door is. Hmm. I might try to do like two stages per video. I don't know how many stages there are. Um, I have several one-shot things I want to be recording on the Switch as well so I can uninstall them. What is that? Oh, he was in Bloodstained! Well, actually, I, he probably... This was... He started here. He was a boss in Bloodstained. Well, I mean, again, he did start here. Because this very clearly came first. Oof! Whoa, whoa, okay, I see you, I see you. I used all of my weapon points. Did I done it? No, but I'm getting there. Come on, train boy. Ouch, that is some serious damage. Did I win? I can't move. I guess I won. Nice. What are you? What are you? Thank you for saving me. It was a demon's power you used to seal that beast. You're a shard binder. That power you could some wait, is that Miriam? It's true that I'm a shard binder, however I have sworn to be ever righteous and Mir That's Miriam! Miriam has become an ally. This is straight up Castlevania 3. What are these things? It appears I can switch places with them. No one is without strengths and weaknesses. Okay, so different characters do different things. The house is low. Okay, okay. This is like um, Portrait of Ruin, also. High jump, slide. Oh, she can do slides. Well, I didn't mean to. I we want. I wanted to talk to the guy who was pointing. Yeah, I'll do another stage in this video. 
Should I? Yeah, I will. I don't learn. High jump. There was a high. Whoa. Boing. Boing. I'm totally playing with Miriam. I'm gonna be honest with you, like, even in, like, the big Bloodstained game. I can't say it's the original Bloodstained game, because it's not, because this technically is. This was the first one. Um, uh, I, 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 I think Miriam's more kick-ass than Zangetsu. And I have played, like, 20 minutes as Zangetsu in this story, and I was like, I said I would make this a video. At least I think I did in the Bloodstained series, and so I was like, yeah, I should probably do that instead of fiddling around on my own. I'm doing damn good, and I get to play as Miriam. I, I'm going to play exclusively as Miriam as, po as, as much as possible. That is freaky, and I hate things in the water that I can't see. I uh, just recently started playing through Symphony on my phone again, because I just got a new phone. And uh, <clears throat> I haven't played through Symphony on it yet, so I get to start all over. And I've been meaning to play it again through on the PlayStation as well. I play that game probably three or four times a year, every couple months. It's my happy place. Well, one of my happy places. I have plenty of happy places, but that's, I think, the oldest happy place I have. What is that? Because I, I would say, I think my favorite happy places are hanging out with everybody, spending time with my wife, playing symphony. I like building things. But yeah, I didn't have a wife when I was four. Dimitri was like, eight months old when I was four, because four is when I started playing Symphony. That was my first video game. So yeah, it is my, technically my oldest, like, comfort zone thing. So that's cool. What does that do? Oh, that, okay, nice. I thought that was going to be a boss. It wasn't. Hashtag lame, hashtag I'm better, hashtag... I ran out of hashtags. Oof, that hurt. How do I get up there? Oh wait, Miriam can jump. Boing! Well, not that high. Uh, I suck. Whoa! It's cool to see the enemies in Ritual of the Night in this. Because, I mean, obviously, you know, they're in 8-bit form and all that, and they were planned on bringing to the 3D, or 3... Whoa. You know what's cool is this runs like a new game, because it is. But it... It definitely plays like an old game, because it... I understand. I'm saying exactly what is happening. I just like it. Shut up. Can I hit him from up here with this? No. Not even from there, apparently. It's a big womp. I need some health. I might die. Nope, I'm fine. I'm always fine. Ooh, a scythe. Okay, it's like a boomerang. Now, how am I supposed to hit that bitch? Oh, there we go. I did it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. A different colored one. Oh, I didn't mean to grab it. I like the sight. Is that gonna fall? In? Oh, this is the boss because the screen went warm. <laughs> what is that thing? It's like a potato bug? I don't recognize this. Well, my sub weapon is utterly useless against this guy. Oof. Ow. I might die here.
Uh oh. I was supposed to change people, wasn't I? Miriam's down. Oh no. I think Getsu's sword is such low range compared to Miriam's stuff. I have more health going into it this time, but I have less range. Oh, yikers. Ouch. Damn it, dude. Oh my god, quit hurting me. I'm gonna get him. Whoa. You missed me, jerk. Ow. Why do I always just slam my foot into my mouth? It doesn't even taste good. Okay, bad, bad things are happening. It's fine. We're used to bad things happening. Whack. Quack. Don't. Damn it, what did I say? Okay, I'd rather go into that with Miriam, though, because she's infinitely better than Zangetsu. I don't have to start the whole thing over. Oh, thank God. Ooh. Whack. Whack. I don't know if the scythe is the right way to go for this one, though. It might be. He's usually above me. So I think the triple knife thing is the better way to go. I think I got it this time. I think. I hope. Charge, Miriam! God damn it, move! And it was pattern now. Boy, uh, well, I almost proved it. But I said I got punched in the gob. Then I won. Superior intellect! I am a big... Whoa, excuse... What? Did he just charge into the wall at full speed and blow himself up? Is that what happened? Did I beat him so bad he killed himself? Is that what happened? That's what it appears. How come I gotta play a Zangetsu? Oh, am I unlocking people? Oh, wait, that's Alfred, isn't it? That I would be defeated by a... I, I'm Alfred, an alchemist. I know who you are. You use demons to fulfill your worldly desires. A fair exchange. Yeah, alchemy. My power can be of use to you. Your existence is unsettling to me, but your skills are now without value. I'll leave your head where it is for now. Alfred has become an ally. Wicked cool. And that's where this episode's gonna stop. Bye. That was a little abrupt. Bye. You know, I haven't stopped recording. I think I'll keep it. Bye. <laughs>